hello welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i am bringing you guys the ultimate guide to shopping the sephora sale we're talking all about makeup so foundation concealer eyeshadow palettes all of that if you want a separate video talking skincare and hair care let me know in the comments and i'll be sure to do that for you really hope you guys find this video helpful because i know how overwhelming it could be walking into sephora and like wondering what's good what's not what would work for me. So I really hope this video serves as a great guide for you. Start off with a face primer, starting off with the Milk Mattifying Smoothing Primer. I love this one because I have a combination oily skin. So I tend to get oily throughout the day on my nose, my forehead, and this really helps to control my oils, but also smooth out my skin. So it kind of does a little bit of pore filling too. Moving on to the second primer, this is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. It also has SPF 15 in it. And I would say this is good for like normal to combination skin. And this one is really nice because it does completely smooth out your skin and leaves a really nice base for foundation to go on. The last one that I really like, this is the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. So if you deal with more larger pores and you need something to fill them in or just to have like a smooth surface for foundation, move on to foundations. I have five of them to share with you guys, so let's get into it. First one, starting with the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is a full coverage CC cream, but it has SPF 50. As you can see, it is very well loved. I love this for the summer months. I take it on vacation if we go to like Florida, Mexico, whatever because it already has SPF in it. The coverage is great. It's perfectly with your brush, with your fingers, very long wearing, and a little bit of this goes a long way so it doesn't feel heavy or cakey on the skin. I would say that this really works well for all skin types, normal, combination, oily, and especially you dry skin girls, I think you would really like this because it leaves a very hydrating natural skin finish. Moving on to a second favorite of mine, this is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is such a beautiful foundation on the skin. It's very lightweight. The consistency is just like so thin, but the coverage is incredible and it leaves a very nice like radiant finish on the skin without looking like dewy or oily. Plus it's long wearing. This one is like definitely a top favorite for sure. Moving on to the Hourglass Soft Glow Foundation. If you are a normal to oily skin kind of girl, definitely try this out. No, it has the word glow in it. It doesn't have like a very dewy finish to it, what I, which I actually like because I have oily skin. It's kind of hard to explain. Like it's like a glowy matte foundation, if that makes sense. It honestly looks incredible on the skin and it's super weightless. So do, you don't feel it. This foundation right here is definitely my top pick this year. This has been my go-to foundation. It's actually what I'm wearing today. This is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. And I Love it. I bought it at the last sale that Sephora had and I'm so glad that I did. Medium to buildable coverage, so lightweight on the skin, like you do not feel it like at all. It just truly feels like skin. It's a natural skin finish. It's not matte, it's not dewy. It's literally like the perfect foundation for all skin types. So you're going between these foundations, you're like, ah, oh, which one should I try? Give this one a try. I mean, they're all incredible, but right now I have just been absolutely loving this foundation. The last foundation I'm going to talk to you guys about is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. It's just like the OG of all foundations. It's long wearing, very full coverage. It's not one of the, those foundations though that you're like, oh, I don't even feel it on my skin. Like you will like know you have foundation on, but your skin will be like perfect. So I love wearing this if I'm attending a wedding, if we're getting family photos done, if you're a bride, bridesmaids, this is the foundation for you because this will not budge all night long. Like I'm planning on wearing this to the Taylor Swift concert and I already know my makeup is gonna look perfect. Let's move on to concealer. I have three favorites I wanna share with you, starting with the Kosas Revealer Concealer. If you like something more hydrating, medium, Maybe you don't need like a ton of coverage. Be something for like everyday concealer. The Kosas Revealer is definitely one of my top favorites. Looks beautiful on the skin, very natural on the under eyes and very easy to blend out. It's nice and creamy. Next up is the Hourglass Banish Concealer. This is something that I go for when I want a little bit more coverage. Very creamy, blends out perfectly. It's something that I go towards when I want like more coverage overall on my skin. This is a really great concealer. In my opinion, if these two were to have a baby, it would be the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. Concealer. This is like the perfect mix of these two concealers. Hydrating, it's creamy, it's medium to full coverage. This leaves like a nice natural skin finish. It doesn't look too drying, but it's also like not too dewy looking. It's literally the perfect mix of both of them. Okay, I'm going in the order of makeup, so let's move on to cream bronzer and blush. Cream bronzer slash cream contour. I've really, really been enjoying the Patrick Ta Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. This is a great product because you have the cream bronzer on top or cream contour, depending on what shade you get. That's protected. And then you have the powder bronzer right on the bottom. A nice mirror. I've actually started adding these shades to my professional makeup kit 
because they are so good very easy to blend out the color payoff is perfect another bronzer that i really love that you can never go wrong with this is literally like my third one and i will buy another one for the sale because i've hit pan on this is the hourglass ambient lighting bronzer in the shade radiance bronze light it is just absolutely beautiful i'm wearing it today i literally wear this bronzer every single day it has a beautiful radiant luminous finish to it the color is just perfect there's no glitter or like shimmer in it, but it just looks so beautiful on the skin. Moving on to blushes, two of my favorites are the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blushes. I love the shade Happy and Truth. They are just so pigmented. I have these little ones and these will last you a long time. You literally need like one to two dots, depending on how much blush you like. These are like the little smaller ones, but this is like what the big one looks like. Honestly, you cannot go wrong with these. They are pigmented, they're long wearing. You want a blush that's a little bit more like dewy and a luminous finish if you have more dry skin. Definitely recommend checking out the Say Dewy blushes because these do leave like a dewy finish on the skin and they look beautiful. I love this one for like a no makeup kind of look if I want a dewy luminous finish that just looks natural kind of looks like I've been working in my garden all day and I love how big the applicator is as well okay last up for blushes is the Patrick Ta this is the double take cream and powder blush I love this just as much as I love the powder bronzer and cream bronzer again very similar packaging you have the cream blush on top that is very pigmented you have the powder blush on bottom and i just think this is like very travel friendly and let's talk setting powders i have a few that i want to share with you and i like these for all different reasons so start off with the loose setting powder you need something to lock in your makeup set your concealer set your face it's going to smooth out your skin i use these like on a daily basis when i'm doing my makeup this is the huda beauty setting powder in the shade banana bread but i also like their lighter shade i think it's called cupcake a little bit goes a long way powder is just amazing i use it on my clients it's very finely milled so it's perfect to set the under eyes your t-zone wearing it today i literally use this all the time to set my makeup the formula of this i don't think there is any other better loose setting powder and if there is let me know so i can try it now let's move on to compact powders if you have more a normal to dry skin this will honestly even work for oily skin like i said i have oily skin and this works for me but let's say you don't like a loose setting powder and you don't like to use a lot of powder on your face in the first place this is the kosas breezy cloud set powder it truly smooths out your skin makes your skin look airbrushed it very finely milds like if you were to feel it it's just silky smooth it will diffuse the look of your pores set your foundation and honestly just make the skin look so good the last compact powder i'm going to talk about is the charlotte tilbury complexion perfecting micro powder this is a very silky smooth powder like if you go to the sephora and feel it you will just feel how silky smooth it is the difference between this one and the Kosas one is that this one has a little bit of color, so it'll give you a tiny bit of coverage. I use a shade Fair Pale because I personally like my under eyes to be a little bit brighter. So I will use this compact powder with a little brush, this one from e.l.f., tap off the excess, and then I will go under and set my concealer with this. This is an awesome powder at getting your makeup to look completely airbrushed. And let's talk setting sprays really quick. There's two that I would recommend picking up. One is from the Sephora collection, and it's going to be currently 30% off, so it's a really great price. This is the makeup setting spray for 16 hour wear. Makes your makeup transfer proof, sweat and humidity resistant. I love this one. I have like barely any left and it's a really good setting spray. This one is actually in my makeup kit and that is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Setting Spray. Definitely one of my top two. You really can't go wrong with either of them. If you're trying to save some money, try this one. But let's move on to eye makeup. If you are wanting a new makeup palette, honestly, you cannot go wrong with any of Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes in particular i love the soft glam palette i personally love the soft glam palette mainly because i love these warm tones you have lots of mattes lots of shimmers to kind of play with if you want something a little bit more compact maybe not as much shadows or maybe you don't wear them a lot i would really recommend checking out kaja beauty if you want something a little bit more compact or very pigmented easy to blend especially if you're not like a big eyeshadow wearer but you want a little something in your collection these are definitely worth trying i typically don't like to spend a ton of money on like eyeliners i'd rather get them from like nyx they have some of my favorites but these are like the only three that i would be willingly happy to spend over 20 dollars 
dollars on them. Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. These are long wearing and waterproof and will not budge. Really great if you tend to get like raccoon eyes, if they smudges on you, this is a perfect one. The next one is by Makeup by Mario and this is in the shade The Perfect Brown. I love this one because you have the pencil on one side, but then you have the brush on the other side. And I personally like to use this to kind of smudge out a brown liner. That way it's a little bit more smoky and it's literally my favorite brown eyeliner ever. If you are looking for a good liquid liner, the Lancome Dull Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner is super black. It has a very fine tip, so it's very easy to make a wing. Last product I have for eyes is the Lancome Lash Eye Doll Mascara. I have really enjoyed this mascara. I really like the wand and typically, I don't like to spend a lot of money on mascara. You are looking for a good mascara and you're already at Sephora. This one is definitely worth trying. Okay, last category I have for makeup are lip products. So I have a lot of them, let's get into it. If you're looking for good lipsticks to try out, these are the two brands I would recommend. Merit Signature Lipsticks are gonna be more hydrating on the lips. Very nice natural color, but still long wearing. The other brand is the Charlotte Tilbury Lipsticks in the shade Pillow Talk. I love that shade. It is more of a matte formula, but it's honestly the most beautiful color ever. Lip liner, I'm gonna have to go with my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow talk lip liner look how tiny it is it is truly just an amazing lip liner and i buy it every single sale if you are looking for a more long wearing liquid lip color that's actually comfortable on the lips and isn't going to make your lips feel like all dried and crumbly the urban decay liquid lip in particular the shade textum is just a beautiful shade here it is swatched on my hand right here. You just shake it up and it's very long wearing. You apply it, it's not drying. It doesn't like flake off on your lips. I really love the formula of this. For lip glosses, Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. They just make your lips super juicy. They're shiny, they're hydrating, they're comfortable. If you want something a little bit more plumping, I personally love the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing gloss i keep this one in my purse this is like my second one and you can see it's pretty much empty but this is just an amazing one so two different things this is plumping if you want like a cross between a lipstick and a lip gloss try this that completes this video i really hope you guys found this makeup shopping guide helpful let me know if there's anything that you have your eye on in the comments down below and if you guys want a skincare and hair care version of this video i will be happy to do that for you as well don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye